Good morning vlog and welcome back to the Trisha Dillon channel. If this is your first time here, then welcome. My name is Trisha Dillon and I do lifestyle, beauty, travel, and of course my favorite food on my channel. So if you like my content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Check out my vlog series on here and today we're gonna do a get ready with me so i did a sephora haul um a couple of weeks ago and as promised i promised to get ready with me so we're gonna do it today so let's see what i got this is my sephora bag it's a lot all right so i'm gonna start off with one of my favorites this is the um fenty beauty perfume i got this around christmas and i love it so i always start off getting ready with a little bit of perfume like oh it just smells so good it's like a light fresh scent but it kind of has like I don't know undertones of like masculinity like I don't know how to explain it like woodsy kind of but it's fresh and slightly floral I'm doing a bad job of explaining it and I know you can't try this one on in store but if you're willing to take a risk like do it because the stuff is thebomb.com. It's my favorite. If anyone's looking for a good birthday present for me, not a bad idea. <laughs> One of the first things I got is the Oleo Henix Banana Bright Eye Under Eye Cream. I have not had this in so long and today we're gonna start from base up because like I got a lot of like base items. I just love how this brightens my under eye area and it smells so good. Like I'm a big scent person and has like kind of like tropical citrusy vibes to it and I just put like a little like that and then I like to just pat it in to my skin. I'm someone who my under eyes like get dry so I moisturize them on a regular basis and it's just gonna help your makeup go on nice and smooth. Next up is this Tatcha. This is the dewy skin cream. I love this. I actually got like a little sample last time I went. I got the uh, dewy skin cream. This was more of like kind of a gel formula. The actual big one is like a little bit different. It's cute. It comes with like this little scoop on top so you can like scoop it onto your face and stuff retails for like 80 bucks but it's so good use your little scoop normally i just i'm not even gonna lie i just use my hands like i don't really like use a scoop but i mean it's kind of nice i guess again if you've gotten any of the tasha products like very light it has like a very distinct like powdery scent to it but it's pleasant it's not like Next up, I got the NARS concealer. Um, the color that I got is, oh, I guess I gotta open it to see. <laughs> a lot of my friends use NARS concealer and they really like it. So I was like, let me try it. I got it in a uh, chestnut, um, medium dark is the color that I got. I have only tried this like once before and I'm a tart shape tape girl. So I'm going to be honest, like this hasn't been my favorite, but I bought it. I just feel like the application on it is really like light and I kind of like a lot of coverage. So I don't know. I just feel like it's a lot of work to like <laughs> put all of it on, but I have a little pimple there. All of this coloration that I just like to kind of mark over. I had to restock my Fenty Matchstick. This is in the color Truffle. I actually already have like one open, but as you can see, it's like super low, <laughs> but we're gonna go ahead and finish that um, off today. I've been doing my nose contour like a little bit different to kind of create like that kind of like button look that everybody likes. So to do it, you have to like go whiter at the top here and then go down kind of like to a point, like almost like a V in the middle. And then I've been doing the skeleton contour. It's my favorite. I'm kind of like practicing to figure out what products like I like for my birthday, like what are 
you know, my favorites. So this is kind of like a little test run for that. Next up is this House Labs foundation. I have been dying to try this. Everyone's been raving about it. And I got shade 360, medium warm. When I color match this in store, like it looked so good. So I'm curious to see what it looks like on my entire face. So this is what the bottle looks like. Really cute, it comes with a pump application, which I love. So I'm just gonna put a little bit on the back of my hands. Take the foundation brush. blender and I'm gonna blend out my concealer first. This is almost like a paint by number method of doing this on the application. So I think the last vlog that I talked to you guys in I was a little worried that my trip was gonna be getting um, canceled to Vegas but I am happy to report obviously as I had mentioned earlier that my trip is still on and popping and ready to go. I talked to my sister and Jen, um, you know, a little uh, chat message almost like every day. We're all so excited to like go chop it up in Vegas. Um, it's been a while since I've been to Vegas. Like I think the last time I went was last July with my sister. It was her birthday. And I went in for one day and I ended up getting uh, COVID, which really sucked. So this time I'm going to be um, just cautious and definitely probably like wear my mask on the plane. Um, I don't know, like we get in like pretty early and I'm pretty sure we're not going to be able to get like early uh, check-ins. So I'm debating if I'm going to go in my makeup or if I'm just going to like be natural and then glam that night which I'm kind of leaning towards more of the go natural and then glam that night vibe um we're gonna be staying at the flamingo I'm excited I really wanted kind of more of a turn up atmosphere like I love staying at the palazzo at the Venetian it's probably like my favorite place to stay when we go to Vegas um, just because every room's like a suite and they have like really good restaurants there and it's just like a vibe like I like it and I also heard that they're getting ready to do like a huge renovation um, so I'm really excited about that too because um, even though like I love staying there because the rooms are like you know nice but like you know it's Vegas like they're opening new hotels all the time and everybody really kind of has to like keep up, you know? So people want to like stay at your property, your hotel, you know? And I'm one of those people that I try to stay somewhere different every single time. Now I will say that um, staying at Flamingo was kind of like a repeat, but the first time that I stayed there um, was when um, I had the dogs and I was traveling cross country from Nebraska when I moved back to San Diego um, after the pandemic and after my husband's uh, deployment was over. Um, so I don't really like, oh, I got a little goop there. I don't really count that as like an official stay because it was definitely based on cost efficiency. And then my room was like super old and not nice at all because, um, like of the dogs. Like I had to have like a dog friendly room and the dog friendly rooms are like not updated whatsoever. All right. So I really like this foundation blend. It's a little more tan than normal, but I think once I like put powder on everything on, like it will kind of blend out. I think it matches my chest really nicely. And a little goes a long way with the Hustle Labs. Like it's very full coverage, which you know, it's Lady Gaga's brand. So honestly, I would expect nothing less for that. But yeah, so we're gonna be staying at the Flamingo. My sister was so nice and she got us tickets to the high roller. So we're definitely going to be doing that. Um, we're going to be trying a new 
restaurant at the Cosmopolitan on my actual birthday, which I'm excited about. Um, I don't want to like ruin all the surprises, but I'm one of those people that like definitely plans and books ahead of time. So I did go ahead and book one brunch. It's at Monabagabi at Paris, which is one of my favorites. This is also something that was a restock. This is the Anastasia Precisely My Brow, and this one is in shade dark brown. I just love how like fine tip it is, and it just makes it like, I don't know, a lot easier to applicate. Also, everyone's been going like crazy for that bold filter, so I've kind of been doing um, my makeup like that because everyone says the filter doesn't change your face shape, like it's just like the makeup that it applies on there, so we're gonna, gonna go for that type of a smoky look today. I'm literally not going anywhere today, I'm just going to work, so I guess we'll be full glam at work today. Ooh, she's she cute. Oh. Um, yeah, so I'm really just super excited. We do the high roller also like every single time um, that we go to Vegas. Like it's always just like fun. So it was so nice of my sister to get everyone like tickets for that. When I say everyone, it's just me, her, and Jen going because everybody else kind of like um, backed out of the trip, you know, which is fine because I did just travel um, to Cabo with uh, Jamie and Ashley so I kind of had like I don't know almost like a separate trip with them um, but I'm really excited like I this is the first time that I've actually like gone somewhere for my birthday like normally it's just Arthur and I like going and celebrating it together like at Disneyland or something um, so I'm really excited to actually be going on a trip this year um, for my birthday so it should be a lot of fun all right, I'm gonna clean up my brows a little bit. This is, this was not an item that I purchased, um, but this is in color Dominica. This is, um, oh my God, what brand is this? I always forget. I forget because it like rubs off, but it's a black owned brand um, that I get from Sephora. Everything that I use, I'm gonna link in the description box below in case you wanna like grab any of these items. Um, but I'm just like cleaning this up a little bit. <clears throat> so yeah, I'm excited. I don't know what we're gonna do like on my actual birthday. Like we're on the guest list for like a couple of different things. So I figure like we'll eat dinner and then discuss it and then decide like where we want to go. And like I know everyone's gonna say like, oh, it's your birthday. Like we can kind of like do whatever you want to do. But you know, like I want to make sure the whole group like has and has like a good time. This is probably a good place to tell you that I also got the Pharmacy Deep Sweep um, Toning Cleanser. Like I love this stuff. It's amazing. It works so well. And then I also got the Pharmacy Whipped Grains. This is um, their oil-free um, facial cleaner and it has moringa and papaya in it. The stuff smells so good and my skin loves it. There's a couple of things that I definitely saw after I went to um, Sephora that I still want. There's like this brown lip liner by Rare Beauty that I saw makeup by um, Shayla wear and it just looked so good. I'm just taking like a simple brown color. This is my uh, Black Widow palette. Um, I've had this one like for a long time but and that filter, like, it's just really kind of like this brownish color. I'm gonna bring that down onto my nose, too. It's like a universal kind of like taupey brown that looks good on basically everybody. <laughs> so, if you're looking for a good eyeshadow, my bottom eyeshadows are like already like kind of covered. I'll bring it down like a little bit, but normally I just kind of leave them to do what they're gonna do. I've become very minimalistic in my um, makeup and I don't really like do a lot anymore when I do my makeup, which I know is different, but I just don't. That's who I am. I'm, like a little bit more simple now. Um, we're going to blend out my powder. 
once we've been lent out the powder, um, we can really kind of like see how this is all setting on the face. And I like it. Like, I like this foundation. It's very kind of full coverage. Like, a little definitely goes like a long way. I think it's a good color match for my skin. And it'll just, it looks really pretty. Alright, so I'm going to take my Morphe bronzer color Phenom. <laughs> And we're just gonna go in and like chisel out these cheekbones a little bit. Just a little bit. I always put this like pretty high up on my face. I know some people like to do it like lower the old school way, but if you put it up higher, it kind of like snatches the face more. And that's kind of more of the look that we're going for. If it's heavy and it looks like kind of chunky, like don't stress about it. We're gonna. We're gonna buff that out in a second. <clears throat> All right, next I'm using my uh, Lucky Glow palette. This has like my blush in it, so I'm gonna be using this blush right here. It's the one that I use like pretty much every day. I like a really like pinky, pink, pink, pink blush. And see how like when you put that in, it kind of just like blends into bronzer perfectly. And I always go like really high up with this. Again, like always moving upward. I'm gonna blend this out. It's been a while since I've done like a get ready with me. So tell me in the comment section below, do you guys want more get ready with me? Do you want more beauty product reviews? I really don't do a lot with it anymore, but if y'all want it, we can get back into it. This is like kind of a rarity, but with that full glamour look, they definitely do like a nice defined like bottom. Um, sorry guys, I like cannot talk while I do this. Like they definitely tighten up that waterline. I'm using the Double Take by Tarte to like just do my liner on here. And now I'm gonna do the top liner, which on camera. <laughs> Alright, I did like a little mini baby wing. I admittedly so have never been the best at eyeliner and since I'm out of practice like I didn't want to do it on camera but this is what we got. Just a little, little baby situation. Alright, I'm going to take my Better Than Sex Mascara and we're going to do the bottom lash. So I'm also planning a trip in May. Um, for Jen, who's going on the biggest trip with me, you guys will get to see like a lot more of her in this vlog. I know normally it's like Ashley and my sister vlogging with me, but since Jen's coming on this trip, you'll get to know her better. Um, I told you that she has like her own YouTube channel. So if you get a chance, go check it out. She just, um, her last series of videos, like she went to London, which was pretty fantastic. She got to stay in a castle, like, it looked bomb, but for her 40th birthday, we are planning a trip to Oahu, to Hawaii, which I'm super excited about. Um, I always love going to Hawaii, and this will be my first time going to Hawaii without the family. So normally that's like a family trip. I've never done like a girl's trip to Hawaii, so I cannot wait for that. Like. So much fun. Okay, you guys, so now it's time for my favorite thing that I got from Sephora that I am just dying to try. As soon as I saw it, I was like, I have to get it. Like, I have to find it. And they literally had one left when I went to the store. This is the Fenty Beauty MVP. Okay, this is the um, Fenty Icon, the Velvet Liquid Lipstick. This is the color that she wore at the Super Bowl. Like, anyone who knows me, like, I love a good red lip. Like, I love it. It never goes out of style. Like, I think it looks fantastic. And this is, it looks so cute. I love, 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 love how it looks. But everyone, like, this is like a collector's edition. And everyone has been, like, raving about this. So we're going to try it on. I just put, like, a little bit of, like, brown lip liner
shook. I don't know how to explain this. This is like, okay, so it goes on instantly matte, but it's like not chunky. You know how like sometimes like when it's super matte, like it can like get chunky and like flaky and bulky. No, this is like the smoothest application. Like, and it's so pigmented. Like that was one swipe on the bottom, a little bump, 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 and a little whoosh, whoosh. And she is giving. What? My mind is blown right now. Like, oh, this is ugh, everything. You guys, I'm obsessed with this. You ain't gonna be able to tell me anything today. Like not one single thing, okay? Like. <laughs> this is definitely like a birthday look, okay? Like, I'm here for it. One thing that we do need to do though, um, so like for that filtered look, is they blow out like the bottom lash, like with a little bit of that like same kind of like brown shade to like make it a little smoky. So we're gonna do that. It's like just a little bit messier. This color like might not be dark enough. I need it to be a little bit darker. Darker brown. To give it that really smoky effect. Let's see, I'm gonna switch. I'm gonna pull up my good old Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette. Excuse her, like she's beat up, okay? She's been through some things. <laughs> Like for real, for real. Uh, is it too dark? Okay, let's start here. Let's see, because I want to get too great. Oh, yeah, that's perfect. Perfection. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. What color is that? I don't know. I hate how she doesn't write the colors like on the actual palette, so you don't know, but. Oh. All right guys, so that is my finished makeup look. Thank you guys for joining me for this get ready. And the next time I see y'all, I'm gonna be in Vegas. So comment below, let me know. Do you want more of this content? Yes or no, all right? Let's make it fun. If you want more content on the beauty, like put a little lipstick emoji in the comments and let me know. And by the way, I love it when you guys comment. So like I always write back. So I want more engagement with you guys. So don't hesitate to comment, um, to ask me questions, whatever, like, cause I will, I will comment back. All right. I got time. I will make time for you guys. So as always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I love you guys. Mwah. See y'all in Vegas.